Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I want to go talk about something besides the usual topics I usually do on my channel, because we usually do a lot of console news and gaming news and all that. But as you guys do know, I'm also a Twitch streamer, so I kind of want to go talk about a crazy phenomenon that's been happening over here on Twitch for these past few months. Now, of course, I'm sure you guys have heard about the hot tub meta or the ASMR meta or all of that stuff, but one of the more intriguing things that have been basically getting a lot of attention from pretty much every Twitch streamer, even news articles and all of that, is the gambling sponsors going on. So I kind of want to give you guys my take on this, kind of give you guys a lot of things and kind of show you guys how some of these people out there like Aiden Ross and some other folks are literally making millions of dollars a month, a month on just doing some of this stuff. So it, it's absolutely crazy and nutty. And as I mentioned, as you guys know, I'm a Twitch streamer for this. So I'll be honest with you guys straight up before I kind of go and judge or critique these guys at all. If I was offered like $2 million, I'd probably take it. I'd probably go do it for five months and probably retire and move to like the Columbia or some of like that. I don't know, but I'm just saying this is a lot, a lot of money. So I can understand why they're doing it. But there's also, of course, a lot of really bad reasons of why people are pushing this money. Why are these really, really successful streamers are even doing this still? And just a lot of things as well, even legality wise that can maybe lead to some issues, whether it's for Twitch or well, for other places too as well. So let's go and talk about it. As well, if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed. We are giving out a PlayStation 5 to any of our subscribers. Like the video, or if you guys want to give your thoughts and comments down below, you guys are super welcome to as well. And let's go dive on the video itself. So this has been some kind of crazy stuff going on. A lot of the stuff kind of go went and kind of started up over here when one streamer actually leaked on how much money they were offered per month to go and do a gambling sponsor on their stream. This is from Aiden Ross, who's a very, very popular Twitch streamer over here. So I'm gonna show you guys all this. We also have a few other things too as well. We've had some other really big leaks being shown on up over here. And some of the numbers that these people are getting are insane. So I'm gonna go kind of quote off this article first and show you guys the clip. But basically, they offered me a bag, which as you guys know, that that, that when he starts off with that kind of comment, you know it's gonna be good. He told them, presumably referring to Rubets, which is a gambling website, who he mentions later in the conversation after dual bets another gambling website says they offered you guys nearly two million dollars a month in terms of like a sponsorship like you basically just go and play on their websites and do realize and gambling on the website and you get paid two million dollars a month so basically aiden ross responded on this saying they offered 1.4 million dollars and did not want to go cover expenses while adding that Rubet are actually covering expenses. So say if they want to go travel to Mexico, because it's actually illegal to go and gamble with these types of websites in America and pretty much most, pretty much every state itself. So what we're also kind of seeing these guys doing before we dive into it, they're literally leaving the country to go and gamble because they're being offered so much money to the point where like people like this Anna Ross guy over here are literally doing like weekend trips to Mexico to go do some gambling streams where it's technically legal there. We've also seen some other really big streamers too as well go move to literally Canada to go and basically keep on gambling because it's just not legal in America. So basically these people are getting offered $1.4 million, $2 million, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to show you guys also some of the leaks they also had to over here too as well. You guys can even go and stop off this statement right there and go and see this. You guys can even see their comments saying they offered me a bag. I offered you guys nearly $2 million a month. I need, <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know why. You offered 1.4 and didn't want to cover expenses. Rubet is also covering expenses. What they kind of mean by that is basically like if you're gambling and you lose money, so you lose $100,000, they will just be like, hey, it's all it's all money for the sponsor. It's all like you, we wanted you to go do those really big draws to try to get win big to get more people on the website make more people gamble on the websites, et cetera, et cetera. So basically they're number one, gambling for free. Number two, making millions of dollars doing this a month, mind you, a month, not a year, a month. And as well too, it's all just house money. It's all just kind of fake as well. It's insane. So basically they're also getting like referral codes too. So someone signs on up with the referral codes or also make more extra money too as well. And like, you could even see all these leaks that they're literally offering $1.6 million and the streamer Aiden Ross is even turning it down because they're like, nah, I got better offers that can make more money doing this stuff in general. As well, we also even had Miskiv, who's another really big popular streamer off on Twitch. I'm just gonna let him kind of go and talk about this and let him talk. But basically he even had huge offers as well, just for like a very various number. If you guys are kind of curious on the amount of money these people are making per hour. So let me go and let him talk. Just, I know a lot of you guys just know like Rubrit. What is it? Is that it? Rubit? I don't really know the names. Um, Steak. Everyone knows Steak. Steak's the most popular one, and that's because Train does it and, and XTC does it, right? Um, if they started to reach out to me, because they're like, oh, okay, you're down to do this. Uh, and this is when I was averaging like 20,000 viewers, right? Wasn't I, I, I've, I've grown. These companies were coming to me with, they're like, hey, we want you to stream on our website 
gamble, and we are willing to pay you $35,000 an hour. An hour. <laughs> so first of all, we see the other we see the other things as well when it comes to being offered literally 1.6 million dollars and turning it down. But now we're also seeing all these other streamers out there literally getting offered thirty-five thousand dollars an hour. I know some people out there that don't even make thirty-five thousand dollars a year working a nine to five job, full-time job. Granted, I mean I know quite a few people make more than that too, but this is in an hour. This is like one Sunday afternoon. And typically, as you guys kind of don't know, I'm a Twitch streamer. I've done a lot of these sponsored segments. Typically, most Twitch sponsors are from two to four to eight hours per session. Basically, there's almost no real reason for them to ever want to do a one hour segment because by that time, like you basically, your audience is already used to it. Like think about it this way. This video's already been going on for six minutes. We're just talking about the subject itself. Usually, they do at least two hours on the barest minimum, typically four if you're a bigger streamer. So we can go and honestly go and assume that even for more of like a pretty big streamer on there on Twitch, they're making $70,000 per day off a sponsored segment, plus them doing like, you know, referrals as well. Also, they're doing the normal streams, they're running ads, they're getting, ad, like, you know, getting sponsors, getting subscribers, et cetera, et cetera. This is ridiculous. I'll finish off the clip. And it's very weird. Like, yes, I wasn't getting that is ridiculous to me like that. That like someone can literally go make someone's literal living wage in an uh, like two hours. Now, of course, you can go compare that to like a Jeff Bezos, the Tesla, you know, any type of major company, whatever lawyers as well. Doctors like big CEOs that are making millions of dollars, hundreds of million dollars a year. But I'm just saying in terms of how close and how insane this is, sometimes seeing these numbers in real life are ridiculous, especially if you're seeing YouTubers and streamers get them as well. As well. Ever. That was double any sponsorship I ever got in my entire life. But listen, it's what they wanted. So they are. So like, it's just, these are insane, insane numbers. And of course, if you guys have been watching Twitch or know about this stuff, or if not even, a lot of these really big streamers, such as like XQC, Trainwreck, a lot of these really big streamers getting 10,000 plus concurrent viewers are getting some of the most insane offers out there because they're just so popular and they're getting so many people on the platforms and making them money. But of course, it's always really scary because if these sponsors are paying that much money, there must be a reason why. And it kind of makes me, I want to go show you guys over here too as well. And you guys can see the overall rough numbers, which are ridiculous because Yasuo actually, as of today, showed up all these referral numbers from these like gambling websites when they do these sponsors. I'm going to go and show this up over here too as well. I want to do something. I want to tip some of these guys because these guys are... So as you guys can go and pause throughout, like just pause throughout this, you are, and these just scroll down to you, mind you, this is not like the highest ones up there from all the referrals from these websites. Some people over here from May alone, literally a month ago, literally have already gambled a million dollars on these websites. And this is not even the highest stuff. You can even see like a 1.6, it looks like right above it. And you guys can kind of go and like, this is scrolled down. Like these are not the top ones. Granted though, some of these as well also like trading back and forth. So say you gamble $100, you lose $10, you get, then, you go lose, then you go and gain $10. You technically could go gamble $300 while basically doing like that. So imagine these numbers a little bit smaller, but I think you guys can probably go and use the comparison to see and how much money you lose, especially if you're gambling on these different types of websites. Because guess what? If you're playing on a gambling website, go to a casino, anyone who is smart knows the house always wins. The odds are always in the favor for them. So say you go and gamble a million dollars off the website as a base deposit, it, you can maybe walk out with 900k and feel happy but at the end of the day you still lost a hundred thousand dollars even if you won big two or three times and made you know fifty thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars back as well with your occasional winnings so i just want to go and say this has been absolutely insane now people are making a large amount of money and i will be honest with you guys like if i could somehow make two million dollars a month I would do it. I would do it for five months, six months, try to pay off my mom's house, try to go make sure my family's set, make sure I'm set, my kids are set. And you wanna know what? I'd probably do it. And is that an awful take? Probably because I feel like it's always bad to have all these big streamers introducing very younger and impressionable fans and all of that. And it's really bad, I think, as an overall industry to go and show this. But I will be honest, like if someone offered me $10 million, I think a lot of you guys would maybe be in the same boat. You guys would probably do it because at that point, like my family is set for life. Of course, I'd feel bad doing it, but I, I have to be honest. Like, I, I can't go and kind of judge these guys or throw any critiques or show this up there if I am not fully honest myself with my own community. So it's insane on how much money these people are making. And let us say, let alone every hour these people are making. And as well, I do think Pokemon 2 to kind of wind down my thoughts and kind of send me into my final thoughts on all of this. She actually had a pretty good take on this too as well. So let me go and let her go play up a clip over here, respond to XQC. It was just oh, another no, no. Here. The reason people say that's not the point is because I think you cut me off. My point was that once... 
you're a multimillionaire streamer, you have so many potential sources of income that you can opt to choose the ones that are less ethically ambiguous than promoting gambling sites. And I think she actually has a very, very nice and good take on all of this, because if you guys go and see all these people, like these people that are already pulling 20,000, 50,000 viewers, when they have a chance and they already have a few million dollars literally sitting in the bank, it's kind of a little bit easier to go and turn that down. Like for me, I'm not extremely rich. I wish I was, but say for someone like me, if I could go and work for 500K for one month and go and help my family, I am down. I would probably do it. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there who like love your parents or family or whatever would probably do the same thing. But some of these people are already clearing multiple millions of dollars a year. Or even if you guys say, for example, for Mizkiff, not to put him on the spot at all, uh, but if anything, I appreciate his honesty. He said that his $35,000 offer, thousand offer was about what three terms, uh, the highest amount he's ever been offered before in a previous sponsor. So he's still getting like $10,000 an hour for sponsors just based off his own words over there. So I'm in the same boat. I, I understand why they want to push for this. They want to get all this money. They want to just go and, you know, you need milk their audience the best they can. But when you already have these opportunities to go make literally $10,000 in just one hour, I kind of feel like it's kind of a bad take if they want to keep pushing this. Now, I will go and say Miskiff is also not a big gambler, so I'm not like harping on him at all as well. If anything, he's really, really respectable that he's being honest with this stuff as well. So I'll always give him a thumbs up. But it's very, very intriguing to go and see all these very, very well-off streamers that are making millions of dollars off their YouTube, off their merch, off their gifted subs and bits and donations from their channel, even sponsors with really big companies too as well that they might even say they might want to consider this even doing this, even though they don't necessarily have all these really bad repercussions on what their viewers might have to go through. Because they have some of these people, such as the Aiden Ross, have a very impressionable younger audience that may not even necessarily think gambling is cool. But if someone can go and win $500,000, they're more still going to be hard stuck on thinking about how someone won $500,000 let alone the money was fake, and let alone, too, maybe they already lost $700,000 on a previous stream, off stream, etc. So I do definitely kind of feel like this is kind of a bad, big issue going on with Twitch, mainly because we've seen so many of these really big streamers kind of going and, like, pushing back as they're doing it, moving to literally different countries as well to go and gamble or doing temporary vacations for it. And I do kind of feel like Twitch itself kind of has to maybe put a little bit of a hard stop on this because it just is leading to so many major issues where we're seeing multiple major big, like, publications talking about this. And while I think it's cool... And someone can go make a few million dollars. As I mentioned, there's probably a reason why these companies are even able to offer that much money because they're not going to be able to go and push out $2 million a month every single month unless somehow these people being sponsored or somehow driving even more traffic from that. So I don't know. This is kind of a really, really bad thing that's been kind of floating around. I think it's insane on how much money some of these streamers are making, but it's also kind of insane too as well on how many people are being negatively affected on all these gambling sponsors out there, especially on Twitch. And also as well, especially when they're multi-millionaires, just trying to get just a little bit more extra money. Now, once again, though, I don't want you guys to be judging these people too, too hard. I just want you guys to kind of be aware of this stuff and always just be a little bit careful if you guys ever are gambling, investing, or whatever. Please always be careful. But as well, when it comes to all this stuff too, I do think it's kind of like disingenuous when you have these really big big multi-millionaire people that are trying to go milk as many cents as they can. Now, if someone's like, hey, I'm going to be a gambling sponsor to help pay off my mom's house. I want to be able to go and stream for the next 10 years of my life and not have to go worry about doing sponsors or begging my community for subs or gift subs. I can understand that take a little bit better and can appreciate it a lot more. But sadly, a lot of these people just don't necessarily kind of really say that. So kind of go to guys but I just want to go make this little video because I am a Twitch streamer myself I do think it's kind of crazy and how much money and growth potential there is for streamers out there so if you guys want to give your thoughts and comments down below feel free to just make sure you guys are safe make sure you guys are careful if you guys ever gamble invest or do stocks or whatever you guys do please be careful and of course as well thank you guys all so much for watching my takes and videos and thoughts on this if you guys want to give your thoughts down below feel free to make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys want to for a PS5 giveaway and I'll see you guys all tomorrow for some more brand new videos love you guys